John, get us rolling here. Good or bad look for Cam Newton, this Instagram post? You know, I actually think it's a bad look. I think that, you know, having played with Cam, you know, everything that he's stating is is documented. It's a well-known fact that you are pro, that you don't get in trouble, that you don't drink, that it's hard to get you to come party. You are locked in um, at, at, at your job. But making it about the way you look, you know, the way you dress for a game with the feather in your hat or the, the, the off-field things that people might perceive about you, I think it's backwards. I think the reason why Cam is in the situation he, he's in is because, like most of us, we get injured. And the truth of the matter is, it's a COVID problem. It's a timing problem. March 24th was too late for Cam Newton to, to hit free agency. Uh, a lot of the money had been gone. And with COVID, it has not healthy or not. Cam Newton healthy, we know, is, is, a, is a starter and a premier player in this league. I don't like the post personally. Uh, I'm mixed on this, but I'm going to say it's a good look for Cam. Even though I, I took... <laughs> Trust me, I totally get where you're coming from, John. Here's the thing, though, in today's world, when everyone can say something about you, everyone can say something about your name, it's okay sometimes to remind them what your name really is. And I think that's what happens. A lot of times you can te- check your Twitter mentions, you can check your Instagram, you can beat Cam Newton, you can read reports from in rapper for everybody. And then after a while, you can be like, wait a minute, we are so far upfield, off the course. Let me just remind people what the epicenter of Cam Newton looks like. And this is a guy who buys in, makes others buy in, and has success. Tremendous individual success. So I think it's okay at times to remind people of who you are without sounding audacious. Yeah, I'm going to agree with Marcellus and go good look here for for a slightly different reason. I, I just think... For Cam to show the self-awareness of, like, hey, look, these are the criticisms people have of me. They think I dress too flamboyantly. They think that I'm not professional because I'm distracted X, Y, and Z. I don't think I would have addressed it the way that Cam did. But to me, that's like a clue that, like, oh, okay, Cam knows what the criticisms are. Let me set the record straight. And tell you all, mm-hmm. no, 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 I'm a professional. I'm all in on football. My criticism of Cam is like, hey, man, we all know you got a body like a Greek god. We all know you're one of the greatest athletes to ever play in the NFL. I don't need more proof of that. I need more proof mentally, verbally from you that you're all in on football. And again, this isn't the way I would have expressed it, particularly when you start wanting credit for Hey, I've never been domestic violence or disorderly conduct. But Cam coming directly out and setting the record straight like, no, man, I'm about this life. John, I I just happen to, I think that's the right message for Cam Newton and and making sure executives know that have never worked with him that, no, 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 I'm all in on football. Injuries are out of your control, you know, uh, you look at entertainers in comparison to, to athlete. We have to be a role model. We have an employer. If you're an entertainer, you can get in trouble. Whatever happens, uh, you can come back, make an album, make another movie, and make money. Athletes don't have that, <laughs> that luxury. And that's, and that's the truth. Cam's making it about things that he thinks that people perceive of himself, which means you can control that. Injuries you can't control. So if you can control how people perceive you, then why not be the ambassador that you say that you are, even though people are thinking this based on what you're doing? To me, that's not smart. That's, that's moving backwards. But since you are a smart individual, you do understand that injury. Make it about that. Say my shoulder's good. My ankle, my foot's good. I'm ready to play football right now. As soon as this COVID thing's over with, I'm ready. I'm back at, at the office. Because if he wasn't injured, we all know he'd have a job. Man, you got me on the ropes. I'm telling you, he did sound a little Chris Rockish talking about, I ain't never been to jail. I take care of my kids. You know, it, it, it kind of was going down that lane, which is not going to obviously get you into the right. building any faster. But with that said, that said, hey, man, they can't keep dragging your name through the mud. Sometimes you got to dust it off and clean it up. And I'm glad he at least tried to do that correction.
All right, the NFL Network's Ian Rappaport reported today that despite the popular belief and the advice that Cam Newton shouldn't be a backup quarterback, Ian Rappaport is reporting that Cam would obviously prefer to be a starter, but would be a backup in the right situation. Uh, I believe it was Dan Wetzel that wrote this morning that Cam is the ultimate insurance policy and that he should wait until a starter gets injured before signing with a team. John Beeson, do you agree with this advice that he should wait until he's a starter before signing? Absolutely not. You know, I've been through this. You know, I've, I've been the face of a defense, the highest paid in my position, all pro, pro bowler. You get injured back-to-back -back years like Cam Newton just did. They send you packing. They sent me to New York. I was playing for the minimum per game bonuses, and I had to actually take a special teams rep. So that was something that I had not done in my entire career. You go out, given the opportunity to play football, if you are prepared and you are healthy, go out and be who you are. Go be Cam Newton, the MVP that we know you are. So if you get a chance to play football, take it. And knowing how the game goes, someone will get injured. And at that time, you put the cape on, you go out there, you stretch, and you turn up. <clears throat> uh, I, I think this is good advice for Cam. Um, this plan is his only play, which is really to go out there and wait for a starting opportunity. John, you and I were in similar situations. I've been that guy, highest paid, all that, pro bowls, all pro, I get all that. But when we say, okay, I'm not that guy anymore, or at least they don't think I'm that guy anymore, we as a backup still can get in the rotation. You can come in on nickel dime packages. I used to come in nickel dime packages. Once you can see that you are backup in the NFL as a quarterback, Hey, bro, that clipboard going to get you splinters. Until that, until that starter gets hurt, you are doomed to the bench in 99% of these situations. And Cam Newton shouldn't have to take his cape off and volunteer to be in that situation. I think all stones need to be unturned before Cam goes to that place. Yeah, but, but we will all agree on this. There's 32 quarterbacks in this league, and about 20 of them are not very good. OK, so Cam being a being a backup is just the situation with the injury. If he is a backup, you think that offensive coordinator, that head coach, the GM, the owner. Man, I got Cam Newton sitting on the bench and he's healthy. He looking real good at practice. We better play him because mm. we know our guy wasn't number one overall. We know our guy wasn't an MVP. Mm. You got to take the opportunity. Just get just get in the car. You might be in the backseat and then, you know, get a flat tire, get out, jump in the Drive the scene, do your thing. Totally agree. I saw Jeff George years ago take a backup job in Minnesota behind Randall Cunningham. Randall Cunningham got hurt, struggled. Jeff George jumped in, put it in work, led on to greater opportunities. <laughs> Same thing with Cam Newton. Wherever he gets in, he will eventually fit in at some point. The NFL is a game that guarantees injuries. All right, John Beeson, I got to say this. LeVar Arrington hyped you up. And you deliver. <laughs> I can see why the AJC yeah, yeah. Network has you as an uh, analyst for them in football. You absolutely sure, delivered. Sure. Great job. We'll have you back again. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Speak for Yourself or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.